All right, welcome back party people. Today we're gonna do a test and I'm gonna see if a regular homeowner like myself, a DIYer, can actually use some standard tools that are available at your big box home improvement store to see if we can actually clean our driveway and walkway. So I'm gonna be testing a couple of different things today. First, I'm gonna test which works better, this Mold Armor Easy House Wash, which by the way, works awesome on your house. You don't even need to pressure wash you to spray this stuff on full strength. Just follow the directions and then wait 10 minutes to come back. Most of it will be gone already and you can just spray it down with water or hose it down with water. So this is some excellent stuff to use on your house siding. And it says it can do vinyl, sealed brick, sealed concrete, stucco trim, and aluminum. It doesn't say anything about unsealed concrete, which is my driveway and walkway. So we're just going to give this a try and see if it works as good on concrete as it does on vinyl site. So I'm going to put the price of this jug in the video right above. All right, so we're also going to test side by side. This LA is totally awesome. That cleans everything and it has a, uh, a chart back here on the mixture ratios that you should use in order to clean different things. I use this on the van for the black streaks and the mold and mildew, and it works awesome. Never tried it on the house, but that may be something I try next time. But we're gonna see which cleaner wins the clean off based on price and performance. And then we're also gonna test it against just using regular water. My tool of choice today is gonna be this 12 inch Ryobi. It's made for, uh, a electric small electric power washers and it's uh, 2300 PI, psi max and 1.4 gallons per minute max so that's our pressure washer that we're going to use in this a 1.2 gallon per minute 1600 psi it's at the very bare minimum of even being able to run this thing but i'm going to see what it does these things all work the same they uh they take the pressure and then use it in the spinning motion with the small nozzles on the bottom and you just kind of drag this across to your driveway or walkway. We're gonna test this out. This is definitely the preferred method versus just using a high pressure nozzle on your power washer and I'll show you why. So right now I'm gonna do a test with the high pressure nozzle versus the actual driveway cleaner attachment. So that's about a square foot of a section there. Now, Put our driveway attachment on. So I just did about a two foot square section there. So twice as much in almost half the time. All right, in our driveway here, we have four sections of concrete at the bottom. We have one, two, three, four. All right, since this driveway sloped starting at the far end, we're gonna use the complete concentrated easy house wash then we're going to use next to it the three to one concentrated house wash and then next to that we're going to use the la's totally awesome at five to one and then this concrete section closest to the camera we're going to leave just like it is and we're going to see how long it takes us to clean each one of these sections i'm going to spray it on and then we're going to wait 10 minutes so let's get to it caution when you're using this stuff it will take the color out of clothes and it may potentially affect your lawn too so you want to wet your lawn before you uh, actually put anything down and we've already done that because it's been raining this morning So nothing so we have the la's totally awesome mix five to one we have the house wash mix three to one and then we have the full strength house wash on the very end over there we're going to start on our easy house wash full concentrated here then we're going to move that way over to the three to one mixture and uh, we'll go up to the la's totally awesome and then finally to the uh, section that has no cleaner on it because i don't want to give the house wash an advantage by uh, staying on longer
All right, so that was uh, that was the time it took for the full concentrated easy house wash. That was actually pretty easy. This section is probably about, hmm, I'd say maybe probably about four foot by four foot section here. So uh, let's move to the next section. All right, so this is our section that we mixed the uh, the house the house wash at three to one. All right, so that's the three to one house wash, easy house wash. All right, let's move over to the LA's Totally Awesome. That was the LA's totally awesome at five to one. Seemed like it did pretty good. Seemed like it did just as well as the three to one easy house wash. It looks just as clean. And uh, now we'll move over to the section where I didn't put anything, any cleaner solution whatsoever on it. The section here, We've got a little bit of bleed over there, but probably not enough to, to matter much. So let's give this a shot. That was with no cleaner solution. I could definitely tell that it took a little more times to actually go back and forth and then changed up the direction a little bit. You could see in the beginning, the uh, 
the swirls the cleaner does help but you could do it i guess it probably will have to take a look at the time it seems like it would take a bit more time to clean it without the solutions this uh this driveway and walkway cleaner is definitely work worth it it makes the job a lot easier you can cover a lot more territory in the same amount of time and uh, you can also get bigger heads and get a bigger pr pressure washer but this is what i have as a you know a diy homeowner i just have small electrical uh, pressure washer and this head seems to work well with that uh, small 1600 psi pressure washer so that's great news right now la's is in the lead it's three dollars a bottle uh, for that uh, bottle and uh, you can mix it five to one so you get a lot of mix out of it the house wash works just as good it seems like but the house wash is more expensive even when you uh, mix it down and then the other thing is is that uh, the easy house wash it will take the color out of clothing if you don't have wet grass or wet your grass down before you put it on it can affect the growth of the grass sometimes so you got to be careful on how you use that so that la's has no acid no bleach no ammonia in it so it's uh, safe for an environment it's safe for you that other stuff if you're working it all day even with uh, gloves on and a uh, a suit you're going to get bleached somewhere and your skin's probably going to get irritated somewhere as well but like i said that stuff works really well on vinyl siding i'll have to come back in the fall and actually try the la's totally awesome on the vinyl siding as well the other thing i want to mention too is that i never used the la's totally awesome in full strength and full concentrate so i did mix it down uh, five to one so uh it's potentially that it would work even better if i used it um, fully concentrated so we'll have to come back uh, later and see how it works. This driveway was cleaned about four years ago by a professional power washer. So it's been about four years since it's been cleaned. All right, hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That would greatly help. Hit the post notification bell. You'll get a notification whenever I make a new upload. And until next time, skill up and ride. Van up and go. And babe. Everybody needs a plan B. That's it. Cha -cha That's it. Cha-cha for now.